Does classic style stand the test of time? Let's find out. First of all, what is classic style? Does it refer specifically to fashion or can we include other genres like classic literature or classical music? Since you landed on this video, I imagine you're interested in classic fashion. But what makes something classic, including style? Why use that specific phrase? Here's the definition of classic according to Merriam-Webster dictionary. Serving as a standard of excellence of recognized value. Traditional, enduring, characterized by simple tailored lines and fashion year after year. To put it in a nutshell, quality is the essence of classic style. No wonder there's lots of talk about classic style if quality is involved. Who doesn't love quality garments? But the first question that springs to mind is price tag. Do I have to shop luxury brands like Chanel to embody classic style? Is it reserved for members of an exclusive club? Thank goodness there's no price point when it comes to the classics. For the classic woman, value is equally as important as quality as we look for wardrobe staples that we can count on year after year because they last for years, but it isn't brand specific. Classic style is also timeless, chic, and effortless. At least it's made to look effortless. Truthfully, any outfit takes some thought to put together. But if you have the wardrobe basics on hand, your life will become easier. But what else makes up classic style? Clean silhouettes, tailored outfits, neat hems, neutral colors, simple stripes, and minimal detailing. Pared down jewelry, simplicity, smart structured fabric, and maybe a splash of red lipstick from time to time. Since I talk frequently about classic wardrobe staples that stand the test of time, I'm a classic style dresser since a teen, guilty as charged but I do steer towards a preppy aesthetic, which is a little bit sportier than classic style, but it really does fall under the same umbrella. So I thought we would take a look at classic style in motion embodied by one of my all-time favorite classic style icons, Princess Diana, and put her outfits from the 80s and 90s to the test. She was one of the most photographed women in history, so we have a large archive of photos to pull from that showcase her outfits. The royal family is always news and noteworthy, but since Queen Elizabeth's death, the upcoming coronation of King Charles, and the release of The Spare, Prince Harry's Netflix documentary and autobiography, there hasn't been a day gone by when there hasn't been some tidbit of news about the Windsors splashed across social media, YouTube, or the news channels. Personally, from a mother's perspective, I think Princess Diana would be heartbroken at the current state of affairs. But honestly, who didn't adore Princess Diana? From the moment she burst onto the scene as a Sloan Ranger to iconic fashionista, Diana's style continued to evolve while staying true to herself and classic style. Historians describe Diana's fashion choices as bold and confident. Pretty impressive for such a young woman. What I love most about Diana's style is that she was equally comfortable wearing a one-shoulder evening gown for a formal occasion or donning a pair of blue jeans and a blazer. She was known for her innate ability to dress both appropriately and elegantly, no matter which setting she found herself in, which meant she always dressed for the occasion, a style rule I've lived by for years. Princess Diana was a true champion of high-low fashion, marrying high and low elements with understated ease. She was truly one of the first fashion influencers who started a trend or two 
Long before social media came into play, Diana embodied a timeless elegance that continues to influence our style to this day. I loved her off-duty princess style that showed her down-to-earth side. A fan favorite was her yellow overalls and espadrilles worn to a polo match circa 1981. And who could forget the iconic black sheep sweater she initially wore before her marriage to Prince Charles. Then it appeared again several years later to perhaps make a statement about her life. Diana loved all of the wardrobe staple pieces associated with classic style and wore them regularly. Little black dresses, blazers, pearls, button-ups, and sleek shift dresses. And she rocked athleisure wear. It could even be argued that she single-handedly invented the concept of athleisure. After biker shorts were first introduced in the 1990s, Princess Diana quickly adopted them into her style, pairing them with oversized sweaters for that cool mom look we all love. She was also frequently seen wearing logo sweatshirts, sweater vests, overalls, and mom jeans. And Diana wasn't afraid to take sartorial risks. Sometimes it was a hit and other times a miss, but she wasn't timid when it came to taking a fashion stance. And she equally loved bright colors and bold patterns. She was known for her monochrome ensembles that veered towards yellows, greens, blues, and purples, as well as neutrals. Pink was in constant play in her wardrobe, and it's reported it was her favorite color. Mine too. But her wardrobe was indisputably built on the classics. Blazers, Fair Isle and Varsity sweaters, loafers and driving mocks, pearls, wax utility coat, and luxury handbags. There's even a Dior handbag named Lady Di. Yes, it's safe to say Princess Diana was a true classic style icon. So let's take a look at a few of her casual outfits to see if they stand the test of time. Because isn't that what classic style is all about? Enduring quality? First up is blazer and jeans. Diana was frequently seen wearing a blazer, but it's clear she loved a good blazer denim combo. And for good reason. It's a signature style uniform she favored. A blue blazer belongs in everyone's classic closet, along with a blue or white button-up and dark rinsed denim. And Diana agreed. I love how simple yet sophisticated this ensemble looks. By simply adding a blue blazer with a humble pair of jeans and button-up, the overall look is instantly elevated and polished. Nearly 30 years later, this outfit is anything but frumpy. As a matter of fact, it's classic through and through. I can't tell you how many times I reach for this navy blue blazer, whether I wear it with dark rinsed jeans and loafers or a striped tee and white denim for a nautical look. Next up is a vintage sweatshirt. One of Princess Diana's low-key go-to was an oversized vintage sweatshirt. She had several renditions on hand and wore them regularly. Many of us discount the humble sweatshirt thinking its only purpose is for gym or Saturday chores but it's a practical and versatile item. And if we take a cue from Diana, a sweatshirt can be worn with pretty much anything, just like a sweater. Go sporty and tailored, just like Diana with one of her most iconic off-duty looks, a graphic crew neck sweatshirt, straight leg jeans, and an oversized blazer. Add a pair of boots and a baseball cap, and you're ready to step into 2023 in style. This was an easy outfit to recreate as I had all the items on hand and ready to go. That's the beauty of classic wardrobe staples. Gingham. What can I say about gingham except I absolutely love this pattern. But I always say gingham is to spring what plaid is to fall. This perennial favorite is a classic pattern in its own right. Gingham shirts are definitely a wardrobe staple. But gingham pants? I think they're a fashion do, and so did Diana. During a photo shoot at her country residence in Highgrove House, Diana sported a pair of gingham pants that were an instant hit. Pink was a favorite color of Diana's, so it's only fitting she's wearing a pair of pink gingham pants. She looks absolutely adorable. A classic cashmere cardigan and again a button-up shirt completes the look. Does this outfit translate to 2023? Gingham is seen everywhere this season, and pink has been trending for the past year. I think it's safe to say that this simple casual outfit has stood the test of time. It's a contemporary feel to a traditional style, then and now. 
Gym gear. It's clear that Princess Diana was truly the queen of athleisure. And why not look cute when you're headed to the gym? Again, a logo sweatshirt is in play, popped over a pair of biker shorts. High top sneakers, add that extra special something. But does it convert to 2023 gym wear? Biker shorts have been reimagined and retooled since the 90s. But it's one of my favorites to wear to a sweaty Orange Theory workout. And I love to wear an oversized sweatshirt or sweater to class in case I have to run errands afterward. I have several logo sweatshirts on rotation in my closet, but my favorite is Stanford, since one of my kiddos went to school there. A sweater is the ultimate winter investment, but if it's dark and dreary outside, why not make it colorful? Princess Diana loved wearing sweaters and colorful ones at that. This photo was snapped in Scotland shortly after her engagement to Prince Charles was announced in 1981. Her intarsia sweater and classic hunter boots were the perfect pair then and now. Again, it was easy for me to recreate this outfit as all the elements are wardrobe staples. I chose a Fair Isle sweater, corduroys, and a pair of wellies that are great winter boots for my climate as we get rain instead of snow during the winter months here in Georgia. But honestly, this outfit is particularly fun to wear as it's very low key yet polished. Denim on denim. What's old is new again. As a matter of fact, we just talked about this on the 2023 trends, but denim on denim or the Canadian tuxedo is definitely on trend this year. And why do we call it a Canadian tuxedo? Years ago, actor-singer Bing Crosby was fond of wearing Levi's. When he tried to check into the Hotel Vancouver after a hunting trip wearing jeans and a jean jacket, he was turned away by the hotel clerk. Luckily for Bing, a bellhop recognized him and all was rectified. But Levi's caught wind of Bing's predicament and publicized it to their advantage. Hence, the Canadian tuxedo was born. Diana is wearing double denim on a ski trip with her children and looks tray chic with the addition of white winter boots and jacket. A jean shirt and jeans are always hanging in my closet. So again, this outfit was easy to recreate. I think every woman should own a pair of red shoes. So why not red boots too? This pair is from UGG and is perfect to navigate slushy snow as they're waterproof. Okay, I'd love to hear your thoughts if classic style truly stands the test of time and which of Diana's outfit is your favorite. Of course, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.